Here are the stories that we're tracking for you today. Hurricane Ida made landfall Sunday morning in Louisiana as a powerful Category 4 storm with winds of 150 miles per hour, making it one of the five strongest landfalls in U.S. history. The storm pummeling the state on the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina devastating the region. Ida has since been downgraded as it brings torrential rain further into the country, but not without causing serious destruction. The entirety of New Orleans lost power after a massive transmission tower collapsed into the Mississippi River, creating public safety concerns. Restoration could take multiple days or longer. Unfortunately, I think we're going to see more damage than what we probably initially projected. This is going to be a really long recovery. Quote of the day. When you believe in eternal life, when you believe that living on this earth is but a blip on the screen, then you don't have to be so scared of things. That's Republican Governor Tate Reeves on Mississippians' general approach to COVID-19, which I guess explains a lot. Of the 50 states, Mississippi ranks 48th for adult vaccination rates, with less than half of its adult population fully vaccinated. And when it comes to the new COVID surge, Mississippi has been uniquely and wholly unprepared. The New York Times reports that on the ground floor of a parking garage at the University of Mississippi Medical Center, there are coronavirus patients where the cars should be, being cared for by a team of medical personnel from a Christian charity group. Another garage nearby has been transformed into a staging area for a monoclonal antibody clinic for COVID-19 patients. Biden making bold, progressive moves on the environmental crisis. Climate change will be treated as a public health issue under this administration. The Department of Health and Human Services is launching a new office designed to address what the White House says are health risks, including those that disproportionately affect poor and minority communities. Many details of the new Office of Climate Change and Health Equity, which will report to a White House Climate Task Force, were outlined in a January executive order on the environment part of President Biden's efforts to use the power of the federal government to address the climate emergency. More troubles for Tesla's automated driving feature. A Tesla using its partially automated driving system slammed into a Florida Highway Patrol cruiser Saturday on an interstate near downtown Orlando and narrowly missed its driver who had pulled over to assist a disabled vehicle. Earlier this month, the U.S. government opened a formal investigation into Tesla's autopilot driving system after a series of similar collisions with parked emergency vehicles. ESPN is ready to take a gamble on sports betting. The Walt Disney Co. Sports Channel is seeking to license its brand to major sports betting companies for at least $3 billion over several years. The sports media giant has reportedly held talks with players that own major sports books, including Caesars Entertainment and DraftKings, two companies ESPN has existing marketing partnerships with. The U.S. is in the midst of the largest and fastest expansion of legal gambling in the nation's history, and with that, one of the biggest increases in gambling addiction. Sports betting in the U.S. specifically has skyrocketed during the pandemic, generating a record revenue of $1.5 billion in 2020, up 69% year over year. In the first quarter of this year, sports betting revenues increased 270% from last year. Experts are calling the issue a, quote, ticking time bomb. 